My name is Sebastian Navarro. I'm a senior for the men's soccer team. My major is business administration with a minor in marketing and management. And I expect to graduate in May. Um, so what made you choose this major? This major, well, I always knew that whatever I was going to do, it was going to be involved talking to people, you know, and marketing and management kind of allows me to do that and pursue me and my, and my leadership skills, so it kind of fit me the best. Uh, what does the average day look like for you? Well, an average day, I mean, we're in springtime, so if, if I was in season, if, if I wasn't graduated, it looked like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'd wake up at probably at 5.45, go to 6 a.m., work out from 6 to 8, go back, shower as fast as I can, eat maybe a banana or two, and then I have a 9 a.m., so go to my 9 a.m., go to class, and after maybe do a yoga sesh because the legs are tired, and then try to sleep or do homework, you know, whatever, whatever I kind of feel like it, and then practice again at 3 and then practice from 3 to 5.30. So we get home, shower, and by then you're kind of tired and you know, you want to play video games or do whatever. So it's kind of a, a busy day. Sounds like it. What has it meant to you to be a Division II athlete? Well, you know, it, it means a lot. It means a lot to me because as soon as I graduated, no one really offered me anything, and I had to take like a, a gap year. I had to take a year off, and a lot of people don't know that. And that was a hard time for me. And luckily, Rob gave me the opportunity to come to come play, you know. And I'm, I'm eternally grateful for that. It was an amazing experience. The quality of the players I got to play with, and, and the league, the, the league is great. So the quality I got to play against was also great. So it was just an amazing experience. You talk about that gap year. Yeah. And, you know, was St. Martin's ever even on your radar when you were in high school? Like, honestly, how did you find out about St. Martin's? Honestly, uh, I had a, I didn't even know it, it was here. Like, I knew it was a, it was a university, but I, I didn't think it was that big. But I had a friend, Christian Caro, that I put an academy with. And in that gap year, I was kind of looking for options, you know. And Christian kind of sent me a message and was like, hey, uh, my, my coach is looking for some players like I know I know you're good are you looking for someone and I'm like yeah I am and what was funny is that the weekend after that happened I played against Rob's team and I scored three goals against him I had a great game and I, I didn't even know who he was you know so then he was like have you heard about St. Martin and I'm like yes I have so he's like well let's talk and that's how the whole conversation started so that's pretty funny. What are your plans for after you graduate? Well, after I graduate, I'm going to try to pursue my soccer career as long as I can, you know, and then if that doesn't work out, then I can say I, as, at least I gave it a try, and then I can go back. And I have an accounting job kind of lined up, which is not really what my major is, but they, they kind of talk to me, and, and I'm thinking about it. So if my soccer career doesn't work out, I always have that. Uh, what have you learned and how do you feel those skills will help you later on? Being a student athlete for sure has helped me kind of manage my time, you know, from workouts and stretching and taking care of your body and, and, wa and watching what you eat. It's a lot of, a lot of load management, so I, I can for sure take whatever I learned here to my career later on, you know. So I, I think that's one of the biggest things. And, and then from school, just, you know, everyone here has been so nice. All the teachers, you know, whenever I needed help, they, they've always been been there to help me, so just kind of take that from here, you know, kindness <laughs> from the teachers. So do you have any advice for incoming Saints? Incoming Saints? Yeah, have, have an open mind, you know. It's, St. Martin's is a, is a great school to, to kind of just be yourself. So don't come here with a closed mind thinking that you have to conform to what people think you are. Just, have, just be, be, be yourself and people will like you. People will have the same interests you have, you know. And just kind of have fun. It's a great place. I, and I, I love that. I love my four years here.